Oh, hey guys. Sorry, just checking out Goodreads. What a great website and app uh, for finding great books to read and suggestions. Good thing that you're doing your next English 12 assignment with Goodreads, huh? It's like I planned it that way. Uh, I promised earlier in the week that I would send out a video that talked a little bit about my expectations for this part of the project. This is the last part, I promise. Um, and, uh, and so I wanna go over it. I think it's pretty simple. Um, some of the emails I've gotten from students so far is more about the kind of the format and the um, uh, and how to go about it. My suggestion to you is to follow that rubric. The links on the rubric will take you to the website uh, that will allow you to log in, but first you have to create a Goodreads account. Uh, don't worry, it's free. You can use your school email if you'd like, if you don't want to be bothered, but with your home e email. But uh, first set up that, that account, then go to the link and join the 2020 uh, Independent uh, Novel Project uh, group which is the group that I created. You'll notice that as of now, there are already two posts, uh, mine for my uh, gentleman in Moscow book, and also Nick posted for the things they carried, which is great. He did it before I did, and he did a great job. So you can use both of those as samples uh, for, for what you're gonna be working on. Um, basically, there's three parts uh, to what I'm asking you to do. Uh, the first part is, well, all of it is on the discussion board section. So you're going to click on uh, create a new discussion board um, or add something, a new item to it. And once you do, uh, you'll be asked to type in the name of your book. So please do that. And then you're going to be uh, asked uh, to give a comment. And, and the comment is is, is the, the bulk of your work. And in here, you're going to do three things. Part one is you're going to follow that part one of the rubric and you're going to write a paragraph or so that does a number of things. First, I want you to bring the reader in. Um, you're, you're, again, you're trying to convince people to, to read this book. So throw in a quote, um, ask a good question, talk about a really exciting part of the book, whatever. But just bring that reader in and then explain to them what the book is all about. What's the plot of the book? Uh, imagine uh, on the back of a, of a book, it explains a little bit about what it is. That's what I want you to do there. Then, uh, kind of last thing, I want you to, to think about, about your book and compare it to other pieces of fiction or other, other novels or other movies uh, and say, boy, if you're a fan of this, you might enjoy this. So in my case, if you're a fan of uh, historical fiction, like All the Light We Cannot See, or if you're a fan of kind of the exploration of the psyche, like in Kafka and others, you're gonna light, you're gonna love a gentleman in Moscow. So think about those kind of things. Um, uh, I think if you like uh, Wes Anderson movies, you'd like uh, a gentleman in Moscow. That kind of that kind of thought process. So this is this is up to you. You're the one that read the book. You got to find a comparison to something else. So that's the first paragraph. The second is your review. And here I don't want to give a lot of instructions, other than I want you to be honest and talk about what you liked about this book and what you didn't. Um, if you overall didn't really care for it, be honest and say so, but also give some concessions and talk about how it could have been good. Um, and then if you did really like the book, also give some concessions and talk about, well, maybe this part's a little slow, or or I didn't really care for this character, or the ending was seemed a little short or a little long, whatever. Um, you'll notice in my sample and Nick's as well, he gives, uh, we, we I think we both do a good job of kind of summarizing what we really feel about the book. This is your book review paragraph. So this is about your opinion. It's not facts, it's your opinion. So express it honestly, but kindly. And then the last part is a resource, again, for students uh, in the future who are looking to read your book. And in this portion, the part three of the, of the rubric and uh, in your comments, I want you to do a couple of things. First of all, you're gonna provide the link to your website that you created so that students can use Goodreads to go and see and learn more about the book that you read. So provide that link and tell them what it is. The second thing is you're gonna find two links to um, two articles about sort of the theme or ideas of the book. So uh, in Nick's case, he chose some articles about Vietnam. In my case, I chose um, a link uh, to an article uh, uh, a kind of a travel article about the Metropole Hotel. Uh, and then I also found um, a link about the Russian Revolution, which is so important uh, to the novel or since it takes place right after the Russian Revolution. So it gives the reader a little context. That's what you have to find too. Think about things that will enrich the experience of the reader if they know or experience. So these guys, they can be videos, they can be articles, it could be a song, um, but give, provide those links. You need two of them there with a little explanation. So look at the rubric and the samples for that. 
And then lastly, I want you to find something on the internet that is from the author or talks about the book as literature, a literary review, a, a review in a magazine or, or a newspaper, or in the case of A Gentleman in Moscow, I used an interview with the author uh, himself. Uh, and I just showed that little video, it's real short. And again, it gives the opportunity for the, um, the reader to check out a little bit kind of behind that fourth wall, behind the scenes and see why the book uh, might be interesting to them. So that's the assignment in, in kind of a nutshell. Um, again, use that rubric and use those links to go to the sites that you need to and, and sign in. Um, that uh, The link in the rubric that sends you to sign up uh, for the discussion board and for our group is so, so important. You must click on that one to go there. So use that rubric uh, to get to that, to that page. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and, and let me know, uh, and I will be happy to get back to you. Um, but so far, some of you will be turning these in and they look really good, so keep it up. And then we'll move into our very last week of you as seniors, so congratulations to you. Uh, what a great uh, day to yesterday and today is. Maybe get outside, work on a little bit, then get outside and enjoy the sunshine. And until uh, next time, I, I, will, I will talk to you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay smiling, stay reading. And I'm going to go uh, back and check out some more books on Goodreads. Cheers.